What's happening everybody? It's Adam here, back with a video. This time from Puckasaw National Park in Ontario, Canada, up at Lake Superior. This is Lake Superior you're seeing behind me. And that water is the true color. <laughs> you can see down perfectly for one foot, 20 feet, probably way more than that. It's kind of insane. It's beautiful. The water looks super inviting, but don't be fooled. It is very, very cold, <laughs> like frigid, but it's beautiful nonetheless. I'm sitting here, I'm way up on a trail. I don't know, I'm 15K in or something, 15 kilometers. Uh, and I'm thinking, this is so beautiful. You know, I'm, I threw on a pack and I, I hiked in here with everything I needed, set up my tent and I'm all set up. I got my food, I got my little camp stove and I'm living self-sufficiently for a couple days and it's just beautiful. And in a place like this, once again, I, you'll never get sick of that view <laughs> with no one around. Um, and I just want to make a quick video about why you should go backcountry camping. If you're thinking about going backcountry camping, this video is for you. Uh, so, and I'm, I'm talking about backcountry, like I'm not talking about uh, car camping or glamping. Although those things are good, if you need to dip your toes in, go for it. But I'm making a plea, uh, I'm making a case for uh, solo hiking, solo backcountry camping. And if not solo, you know, with one other person or something. A couple reasons you should go backcountry camping. Number one, by far, is the solitude you'll experience. Uh, a lot of people go backcountry camping as kind of a sport. You know, they hike as a sport, they'll uh, go canoeing, kind of the, they see the athletic aspect of it. You can make it that way if you want, but something you're really gonna experience out here, out in the middle of nowhere, away from all the cities, away from uh, engines, constant engines, away from uh, billboards and blinking lights and everyone on their phone and all that stuff. You're gonna experience silence, like real silence. And with that comes solitude, comes a certain peace that you don't get in the city, in city parks and farms. In farm country, there's always engines going. There's always somebody doing work. There's people shooting guns. <laughs> you get close to it there, you can have moments of it. But out here, out in the middle of nowhere, in my case right now, Northern Lake Superior, Puckasaw National Park, look at how beautiful that is. There's nothing but the birds and the waves and the wind and your thoughts. And with that will come a deep sense of solitude. I guarantee you that. If you're new to it, you might be a bit freaked out at first. But once you get used to it, you will feel solitude out here. You'll get a nice refresh. Number two, you'll get another, you'll get, you'll get a deep sense of place. You'll get reminded of your actual place in the world, in the universe and all that good stuff. We evolved in places like this. We come from places like this, from the woods, from the, the plains. And our bodies are ancient. I mean, our part, we've been around for tens of thousands of years. So when you come back out here, something in you is reminded of like, oh yeah. It's hard to even explain this one because it's such a different type of feeling, but it's really a sense of, oh, I'm home. This is home. I'm, this is where I belong. You know, that kind of feeling. Uh, and that one is very subconscious that you get out here. It's a reminder of your sense of place. And with your real sense of place, uh, you get very present. You stop worrying about things you normally worry about when you feel that because you just feel taken care of. You feel like everything's good. I'm home. I don't need anything else right now. So it's a sense of peace that comes with getting reminded of our real sense of place in the, in the world, you know? We were out in places like this for a long time, much longer than we've ever been in cities. And that will be a good reminder for you and your body when you're out here. Uh, a third reason, pretty simple, you get a new appreciation for home. Uh, if, you know, I'm in my home province right now. If you, do, if you do a backcountry trip in your home state, home country, you'll get a new appreciation for the place. Uh, once again, we're used to cities and we're used to we get caught up in the bad stuff, but you come out to a place like this and you realize, oh, this place really is beautiful. It's really great. Uh, and it reminds you of all the good stuff of, of where you're at in this world. Um, so just a deep sense of appreciation for, for your surroundings. 
a deeper sense. Everything about backcountry goes deep and deeper and deeper. Solitude, deeper. You know, a sense of peace and place goes deep when you're out here. Uh, and I'll just make this another, like another quick reason here. Um, the simplicity is beautiful. And when you learn, when you have all your belongings on your back and you're walking in to the middle of nowhere to live for a couple days, it's a simple existence. So you learn to really appreciate simplicity. And that, again, gives you a good refresh. So the simple stuff and minimalism and all that good stuff, you realize you don't really need all this kind of crazy stuff that you've got going on back home. It just simplifies you in a nice way, in a healthy way. So all those reasons are why you should go backcountry camping. Um, wherever that happens to be. And if you're a newbie at it, you know, start getting practiced up. Uh, but I'm gonna sign off here. I only have so much battery on my trip and I wanna take some more uh, shots while I'm out and about. But here I am, Superior Country, the North Shore, <laughs> up in uh, Ontario, Canada. And I hope you go backcountry camping and I hope to see a video of you doing the same thing one day. You will not regret it. All right, bye everybody.